Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Peter Cotover Haynes was born on this day, July 6, 1840, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Upon graduation from West Point in 1861, he received a commission in the 2nd U.S. Artillery. He was later transferred to the Corps of Engineers and served as acting chief on the Corps during the Siege of Vicksburg. In Natchez, Haynes directed the creation of the 1864 Map of the Defenses of Natchez and Vicinity and is credited with designing Fort McPherson, the federal fortification located north of downtown Natchez. It was no doubt Haynes who ordered the destruction of Clifton, the great house depicted in Alderman's landscape of Natchez. As the often told story goes, Haynes was upset that the Sergei family had not invited him to a dinner. He evicted the family from their home and tore the mansion down. After the Civil War, Haynes remained in the regular army and in 1895 was promoted to colonel. He designed the tidal basin in Washington, D.C., solving the capital's drainage problem and the foul smell of the surrounding area. Haynes rose to the rank of Brigadier General during the Spanish-American War and lobbied for the construction of the Panama Canal. Although he retired from the Army in 1904, he was recalled during World War I at the age of 77, serving as the Chief Engineer for the Eastern Division. Haynes had the distinction of being the oldest man ever to serve in uniform at the age of 76 and the only Civil War officer to see duty in World War I. My name is Freddie Big Lane. I'm semi-retired from professional life, but never retired from history. And that's been your Natchez History Minute.